What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a one month update for my second job as a software developer. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to put out this content for you guys. Also, make sure you hit that bell notification. Anytime I upload a video, you guys will get notified right away. So make sure you do that as well. In this video, I just wanted to go over my experience in this, this new job, my second job as a professional software developer um, in one year. So I had all last year, I worked at my first developer job, my first professional developer job out of boot camp. And at the, at the top of this year, last month in January, I started at my second developer job. All last year, I worked at my first developer job, my first professional developer job out of boot camp. And at the, at the top of this year, last month in January, I started at my second developer job. Not to say that what I'm gonna tell you guys is 100% across the board everywhere in the world, but at least in my experience, you guys will hear my experience at a big company as a software developer and now at a really small company as a software developer. But where I'm at now, I feel like you know, I'm learning a lot of cloud development. Actually, all we do is serverless programming and cloud development. So there's there's no servers at all. And that is really cool in the sense that I'm learning all new stuff. Um, there's a lot of new tools that I have to learn just to get up to speed. And I think that's great because whereas before, I felt like I I was kind of learning how to survive in, in the technical wild that was the environment there. Whereas here, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like free to roam the like open planes and go learn new things. I really appreciate that. A lot of my onboarding has been um, really just learning a lot of like Azure, um, a lot of Azure cloud stuff because that's what a lot of my team stuff uses. So that's been really great. And um, like I said, I know I'm just scratching the surface. There's a lot more things I start to get into. Um, I know Redis is gonna be something I'm, I'm getting into pretty soon here coming up. But right now I'm focused on like cloud-based stuff, Azure Cloud, Azure Functions, Cosmos DB, things like that, which are all things that weren't even in the ecosystem at the last place where I came from. So I feel like I'm grateful that I'm in a position where I can go to work every day, but also I'm getting better for the future as well. So that's one big difference that I noticed at the new job. The second thing is culture. So it's a very small company. Um, like I said, if we're all in the building, it might be about 25 people, but usually we're not all there at once because there's always either someone taking a day off or working from home. So. I mean, anywhere about 20 people in the office on a given day, usually. Um, very quiet, everyone's very respectful of everybody's space, but they're also very cohesive because it's so small that even the leaders and people who would be like VPs or something at other places, all those people are literally just sitting right there together with everyone else and um, they, they do work as well. Um, like my team lead is a developer, so he still develops. Um, so there's nothing that makes you feel lesser than or like you need to you know get in this club with these people or anything like that. It's, it's a very cohesive, collaborative work environment, which I like a lot. It's very laid back and very independent. There's no micromanagement. So if you take breaks or if you go outside or you know whatever you want to do, like it's assumed that you're getting your work done and no one is actually looking to like do harm to anyone or like, like, oh, hey, this guy's not working and this guy's not doing anything because for the most part, everybody does their work. So I really appreciate that. It feels like a very mature, very adult work environment. Um, so I, I, I really appreciate it. That's a, the second thing I would say is a big difference is the, the culture at this company. The third thing is the work-life balance. So they encourage us and kind of make us work one day a week from home. And when I say encourage, obviously nobody's gonna force you to work from home but it's highly encouraged that everybody works at least one day from home and it's basically a norm so no one is going to be surprised or weirded out or offended that you asked to work from home um one day out the week it's actually expected that every week that at least one day everybody's working from home and so i think again it goes back kind of the last thing with the work-life balance thing where they they understand that there's no real need for you to physically be in the building to accomplish your work still and they don't want you burning through your PTO time and doing all these different things just so that you can go do regular life stuff like go to a dentist appointment or something like that. So they have work from home in place where literally, hey, if something happens with life, if you have to get an oil change or something happens with your kids or whatever, you always know that in your, in your back pocket every week, you've got one day to work from home that you can use at any time and no one's gonna question you, no one's gonna argue. Like it's completely fine. It's actually encouraged, it's actually expected. And I think that's really great because to me, that shows that the company cares about their employees' lives outside of work, that they actually care about your time and your mental well-being and 
um, they understand that you're a human being and the human beings burn out, they get tired and then things happen, life happens. So um, I think that's, that's really great. That was not an option where I came from before, never got to work from home. And I just think that it's a, it's a great perk of tech. And I think that companies should really consider like allowing people, especially as millennials come up through the ranks and start, you start hiring more millennials. I think these companies are going to have to start realizing that work from home is assuming that what you do allows you to work from home without taking a loss somewhere else. Um, I think people should really consider or companies should really consider implementing work from home a lot more for people because to be honest, I've only worked from home two times so far and it has been amazing. I would give up every perk I had at my last job just to get a work from home day once a week like I do now. So that's incredible. Work life balance is much, much, much better in my personal opinion. The fourth thing that I had is that I feel like everyone matters. Like I said, there's only 25 people or so in the building. And I feel like everyone matters. Everyone has an important role because there's only 25 people to hold everything in the office together. But what I like about that is everyone clearly knows their role. Everybody knows like what they're good at, why they're there. And it's, it's awesome. You know who the experts are in certain things and everyone, it allows everyone to kind of, again, work cohesively where everybody can kind of share their strengths and weaknesses with each other. Um, and still work as a unit. You don't have any dead weight to spare. There's, there's no room for any anyone to, to not be able to hold their own in their in their role because there's no one there to just pick up the slack. Or there's not a hundred other people that do your role that can be better than you or that can basically cover up your mistakes or anything like that. I think it's great that everyone has a base level of competency of course everyone still has different varying skill levels based on how long they've been doing whatever they're doing but i think having that that small office really means that everyone has to have a base level of competency in what they do in order for you to be here and then from there they as a company help you build on top of that to become more and more valuable over time and so i think that's a, a really awesome thing um and the last thing to kind of piggyback off that is um, reinvesting in your growth and what I mean by that is um, there's been a lot of paid training so far um, I got a friend co-worker who's getting flown out to the UK to go to a training uh, I know that they pay for certifications and things like that if you want to take certain training programs and become a scrum master get agile certified which I definitely do um, or anything like that they have reimbursement programs or like ways that they basically just pay for you to go um, get better if you want to because it, they understand that by you getting better, it brings them more value. And they understand that by reinvesting in you, it may or may not help you to stay at the company, but it'll make you at least realize that they are investing in you and your growth. And as long as you stay there, you know that you're at a company that will continue to help you to grow. For me, I think it's something that I was always interested in. And so having that now is something that I really appreciate. So I'm at like, I don't even know guys, I don't know how long this video was. I don't know if this is gonna be a long video or not. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions about anything or something I didn't discuss, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you guys on that. And if you guys are brand new to software development or thinking about transitioning into code or going to a coding bootcamp, make sure you guys check out my description box for my free intro to coding bootcamp course where you guys are gonna learn everything from front end stuff all the way through like the beginning and intro to back end stuff. Um, stuff that I wish I knew going into coding bootcamp, I put it all in this course basically, daringthedev.thinkific.com is where the course is at, completely free, just cost your email address, so make sure you guys go check that out. But yeah guys, I hope this video was helpful, let me know, leave me a like, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next video, alright? This is Daring with Daring the Dev, peace.